throwing an orange into the air, I can tell where it's going to be at any given moment. It is in one position at a time with one velocity, and while there are plenty of simple mathematical equations that I could use to describe this movement, pretty precisely, you know, within a margin of error with like air resistance and whatnot that we don't consider just as a simplification, but theoretically we could explain with even more math. All of these things may seem self-evident if you've taken a physics or math class, but well, in the quantum world, we're not so lucky. In the quantum world, we have a lot of uncertainty. That is to say the orange could be in maybe this area most probably, or has like a 10% chance of being here, but we don't actually know specifically where it is at any given moment. All this is to say that when physicists and scientists talk about quantum particles, they're not saying where they are as a point, but more a probability distribution of where they could be. Now, if I have an orange that is a quantum orange, it wouldn't necessarily be right here, but it might have something like this as a distribution of where it could be. So what we have here is we have the position of the orange in inches versus the probability of finding it at that distance. There is a 3 in 20 chance of the orange being between 0 and 3 inches. There's a 6 in 20 chance of it being between 3 and 6. There's a 9 in 20 chance, 6 and 9, and 1 in 20 of it being between 9 and 12. Oftentimes with mathematics, um, instead of it being a, a histogram, you actually have wave uh, functions. That's why it's called the wave function. Um, and then by doing uh, integrals over an area, you can figure out the probability that's within that area. But that's a whole other story that's not really relevant right here. Just imagine it as making more histograms over smaller x distances. Now, mathematicians and physicists and the like do have equations and rules that govern these waves of probability, um, and we can predict those with certainty. However, for one specific quantum particle, we cannot figure out where it is, only the likelihood of it being in certain situations, like this. So there are um, a few different philosophical interpretations in which one you choose to believe in isn't very important to the math, so it doesn't really matter, but there are some people who think that the particle is in a certain location, we just can't see it. There are some who think that the particle is kind of everywhere at once, but for our purposes, these interpretations are identical because we do not know where the particle is until we observe it, roll that dice, and find it in one of the positions. And the interesting thing is that each time we run this experiment, we never know the location of the orange at the end. However, we know the likelihood of finding it in each location, and thus over time, um, if we made a histogram of the locations of our quantum oranges, it will look like this. In fact, this repeated testing and comparison with your predicted histogram is exactly how you test a hypothesis in quantum mechanics. And as you run more and more trials, you should end up with something that vaguely resembles your starting setup, your probability width. So unlike when I was tossing an orange, I can't tell you exactly where this specific orange will be. However, because we do have a probability wave, a distribution that we are able to do math on that's been proven that that math works, I can tell you how these oranges will be spread out if I run hundreds or thousands of trials of oranges, um, the closer it'll get to this exact distribution. Anyway, so this has been the first episode in a little series. I'm going to try and start uh, explaining some of the background information for my research and then going into uh, what I'm researching, just so that way I don't have to try and cram explanation and demonstration within five minutes. So hopefully this was a lot clearer than some of my past videos. Um, I would love feedback. Tell me if it was good. Tell me if you were confused. Tell me what made sense or didn't. Uh, anyway, Asa, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on Thursday. I post on Thursday. I'll see you on Friday. <laughs>